I honestly don't know what to make of it. It's so flipping stupid. Down we go again. Oh dear. Gotta do this again. Oh dear. Right, miss the item again. Uh, can we get this? He got that lot. Dear me. Oh, that was close. Can we get this item? It flew off. That was a tad irritating, guaranteed. <clears throat> so we've done that now. Back in the third, Calper. So now we need to get back up there. Which we're going to do by going this way and up again. I know I can just go back the way I kept back down to. I can just go on through the Calper to the end, but let's be honest, that can take a while. Instead, I'm going to go this way. Yes, I'll have to do some of these, but to be honest, I don't care. It's just quicker this way, to be honest. Let's get these coins. Darn it, I got hit. Okay. Oh, I missed the item. Too bad. I see another one. And I lost it. Just straight away. Flip. That wasn't at all my intention, but I messed it up big time. So yeah, that's a lot of Naka there. Right, now that we've done that, let us go... It is the right one, isn't it? One, two, three, yeah, four. Let's go down into the fourth, Calper. Yes, there's a lot of going back and forth into different calpers in this ep in this part. It's a tad stupid. This whole Starkey quest is really annoying. Like that, get past that. Get by them. Uh, flip! Not doing this right, am I? And grab the coin! Did I get the item? That's the question. I couldn't... Oh, I got... I got, I got the repulse spell! That's kind of useless, because I got Pisaka for that. Right! Now then, let's go. Ah, uh -huh. I am not even going to bother with you. Ah, oh dear. Yep, we're going to need to deal with the fact that we're going to need to de get into a couple of fights. I a lot of fights, in fact before we are able to enter the... Actually, no, we should be safe. We should be able to do it now, actually, because we're on half. Hell's Vault. Right, hang on. There's gonna be some stuff that I wanna go pick up. This is a treasure area. I got a funny feeling I'm not gonna do this right whatsoever. On a tap mirror. I'm not sure if I'm going to actually 
do this whole area to be honest. I'm not really wanting to do it. Okay, that takes us to where now? Right, yes, I messed that up. But we've reached our destination. That's what's important. So I got a couple of attack mirrors, which was good. Uh oh. Well, that was completely dumb. Right. Now we can go this way. And once again, the peephole. Let's go see what... Who we now know is Lucifer and his assistants are going to be telling us this time. Since we've come this far. Ah, uh, here it comes. The curtains are rising. So what are you going to reveal to us this time? Well, except the one we currently started with. Yeah, I kind of figured that happens. The else above kind of told us. Okay, I'm listening. Right. And you basically chose us as one of these fiends. You were testing us this whole time. Oh boy, the very bottom of the labyrinth, that's where they'll wait for us. Someone we know, is it? Hejury! Oh boy, now we learn more about Hejury. So yes, he in fact died. Did he commit the crime by basically surviving the conception? So, like, was his crime basically being alive in the conception? Or at least surviving it, to some extent? Uh, 
yeah, apparently he was a mannequin. But seriously, what exactly did he do aside from be at the hospital when the conception occurred? Wow. Fate doesn't play around. Yep. Now I'm going to say this. I'm going to get to fight the final battle of the uh, of the uh, Labyrinth Farm Marla. There's one more boss I gotta fight, but I won't be finishing the Labyrinth. That's not my intention. I won't be finishing it this uh, Let's Play. Because I want to do the Yasoga ending. The actual plan I have is on my own let my own playthrough I'm doing, I'm going to try and get the true demon ending, and then I'm going to do the... I'm going to record the Lucifer boss fight as a separate video to show it off. Oh, this is hard. Jeez, this is annoying. Uh oh, this is awkward. Ow. Jeez, give me a break, will you? Well, I got some money at the end there, not much though. 361 marker. Oh, lovely. This is it, guys. We have reached the fifth and Final Calper. Let us place the candelabrum on top of the pedestal. The very first candelabrum we obtained in this game. The candelabrum has been lit. Yes, it has been. Which opens the door to the final Calper. Oh boy, I wonder what awaits us in here. Actually, something really awesome, I'm going to be honest. This is one of the reasons I wanted to come here now. I'm going to enter this door and wait to see what's inside. Oh yes, it's him. Yep, he wants to join us apparently. Oh, I'm hiring you all right. You're awesome. Leather coin, eh? I'll go along with it. One marker, okay. Okay, um, right. This is the same coin he used in Devil May Cry 2. In other words, it's a double headed coin. Although, that doesn't look like a head. Yeah, here's your one marker. I'll tell ya, you've been really amusing. Why, thank you. At least somebody appreciates it. Oh boy. Yep, Dante has just been flipping recruited. There he is. He's in our party. He's level 80. He knows expel definite ailments and is resistant to physical and magic. 
Oh yes, he is incredible. That's all I'm gonna say. He is flipping awesome. Well, I'm not going any further into the labyrinth. That's not my intention now. We are done with the labyrinth for the time being, but we will be back eventually. Just not yet. Oh, flip. No, I lost the item. Now I lost it. This is a really annoying one, guaranteed. Oh, oh now I lost the item again. Wait, I didn't lose it before, didn't I? I'm confused. There we go. Done. But yes, we have now done the star quest. We unlocked the last Kalpa. The star key is ours. And the best part is we have recruited Dante. Oh yes, Dante is in our party. I gotta admit, he is quite good, but he's not really as useful due to um, not having many resistances. It would be better if he nulled certain elements, but he just nulls the basics, like expel death and ailments, so yeah. Oh yeah, I want to show you something just quickly. Go to view. Then if I go to Dante, I even I cannot handle this man. Oh my flip! They actually put that as the thing for him in the in the compendium. That is hilarious. Well, that's all for this really long episode. Next time. We've actually got another side thing I want to do. There's one other thing. This Magatama I got to get is what we're going to do next episode. I will see you guys when we go do it. See you then.